Whenever I look at a photograph, I wonder about everything that went into the making of that frame. Where the photographer was, how they came to be at that spot, and how they started talking with the people they were photographing. I've owned a camera for well over 10 years, but only became a photographer when I stepped into the world, trying to make sense of it with pictures. For me, the desire to travel, to encounter new things and people and situations up close is permanently tied to having a camera in hand. The process of making photographs is what gives travel and its delights, its discomforts and its discoveries the most appealing flavor. I've been around the world in the last six years and I'm currently based in Kurdistan, Iraq for work. I never expected to visit, much less live here. Like most people where I come from, hearing Iraq brought images of war to my mind. The rippling heat of flat deserts, soldiers in camouflage, rocket launchers and black-garbed militants in shaky, low-resolution motion. But the Iraq I came to was emerald. Snow-capped mountains in the winter and spring when rains brought this land to manic life. It is sweeping falls of gold, seared by summer into every warm shade you can imagine. From the pale blonde of Samud bread, to the deep cognac of chai in elegant istikans, to the dusty desert tan of the bazaar. You cannot escape gold in Iraq, despite its generations of deep strife. From the shadows in covered bazaar alleyways to the rugged peaks of Kurdish mountains in the waning day, it often seems like the very air is gilded. For a photographer, the light at these latitudes is a gift. Blinding white at the peak of day, fading into the golds pinks and deepening blues as night falls. It suffuses everything it touches with a kind of magic, in the moment and in the memory. Photographers look for this. I look for this. The light that allows me to reconsider what I think I know about a place. The light that allows me to look at it in other ways. To examine how I feel about its people and who I am among them. It is in so many ways the thing that makes another day worth getting out of bed for. Another journey worth undertaking. The thought that I might see a world for myself in all of its shades, glorious or not, delightful or not, always, always fascinating. The journey from impression to discovery is one that never ends as long as I have a camera in my hand. And if the gods will it, May I always have a camera in my hand.